Hi, this is James Kidd, and I am reviewing the Lenovo ThinkPad Helix, a Core i7 256 gig up to um, solid state drive and 8 gig of RAM uh, convertible PC running Windows 8. Um, here it is, right here. As you can see, I mean, maybe I just have really oily fingers, but the build quality is great. It's just so sturdy. Let's get right on to it. Like I said, I have the Core i7 version of it. And as you saw, I just pressed that button right there. And it unlatched. And if you can see at the right angle, it's a fingerprint um, attractor. It's just, I have to clean it constantly. But aside from that, great device, eight gigs of RAM. It's about that thin. Uh, there you go. And uh, so almost as, almost as thick as my thumb. You can see that, yeah, if that focused. So I'm gonna turn on the device. There we have it, right there. And there we go. And that was just from startup. That was not from sleep. That was from startup. Taking a closer look here, I'm using the multi-touch trackpad, which is pretty amazing it's fluid I had to make some adjustments to it but other than that it works great um, you can even add things like you can even edit things like go inverted or whatever whatever you want now I'm going to touch the screen there it is scrolling now my, my camera is like freaking out but it's not lagging. That's just the computer. That's just my my camera. Um, and I installed Photoshop and all that. But we can check up system a Core i7, two gigahertz, and eight gigs of RAM, a 64-bit operating system. And I've got 256 gigs of memory, of storage. But from what I've learned, I only have about 216 actual storage use there. So let's go back. Um, Multi-touch gestures work just fine. Um, if I were to open up another app like the music app there it is I can switch pretty quickly with my hand um, also if I go to photos then I can zoom in or zoom out an ugly picture. Let's check. Let's get another one. There you go. So as you can see, so as you can see, I've got a lot. I mean, if you can see this, it's just a lot of detail just because it's, you know, 
to 1080p screen. What do you expect? Okay. Now I'm going to show you the configurations of the device. Here it's in clamshell mode. It's, you know, got the fans right here. And keyboard, the ballpoint right here that you can use, right? Five point touch pad. So there's a button here, button here, a button here, and here and there. And you can toggle with those in the settings. But aside from that, yeah. So there's Photoshop and pretty blazing fast. If you see this thing right here, this is TP fan control. And I can probably start the fans right now and you'll start to hear them. So they're going at their max speed right now and you can definitely hear it. And even if you take, you know, take off the tablet from its base, which I'll do right now, just touch of one button right there, and you can take it off with one hand. You can still hear it. Here's a vent on the top. If it focuses, uh, the vent on the top. And if you can hear the fans are going at it right now, they're pretty, pretty fast. If I were to show you right there, the screen is flickering. It's going at 5,589 RPM. So here's the laptop, and then we've got the power. If you do do the power, you know just on the tablet itself. There's a docking thing and then there's the actual docking port. And then that's just for this to go in because um, you can turn it around. A display port, mini display, and USB 2.0. This I don't actually know. And as you can see it's double pronged so you got these two things and it can kind of be a hassle I have to admit um, it's not a great design I mean maybe for you know stability reasons but uh, it, it gets the job done so we'll put it on there right now makes that cool sound and then put the flat back up 